Hello and welcome to my first episode of my playthrough of XCOM The Enemy Within. My name is James Bartholomew and today we're looking at, the, well, as I said, the first episode starring uh, the members of the Patreon that we've got, I've got going right now. So we've got, it's got any, uh, I'm Not Megan, Malinor, uh, Molly, Time Jumper, Sauntering Walk, The Valentine Cast, UMB Cast, and others. Um, I have some other patrons to add. All of these members of the squad are female, and I feel like male patrons might not want to be female members. So we've hired a whole bunch of soldiers um, coming in in a couple of days, as you can see down here. Coming in, we've hired eight, and they're coming in three days. Hopefully they'll balance out a little bit. Um, we haven't started any research yet, and I should say now, I haven't played a whole lot of XCOM before. I mean, I've played 128 hours, but I've never really gotten that far into it because I'm really bad at it. Uh, we're playing Iron Man mode now because I feel like that's the most challenging and that's I'll get the most reward out of doing well on that. So yeah, um, we're going to start off with weapon fragments that gets us lasers quick. Then we're going to build, we need some med packs. We're going to build, build four med packs. And we're also going to build, we build an access, we'll excavate that, we'll build an access lift there. That leaves us with not much money and we're going to build a Hmm. We don't have anything else that we can do because we don't have any engineers left. So, we're also going to hire some interceptors in another region. We'll hire one there. We'll hire one there. Wait, can I hire more? No. Uh, we've got 100. Okay. So, now, here we go. We're going to scan for it. We're gonna, these videos are going to be one level and preparation. We do one battle in each video. So first off, I feel like getting some more engineers would be best. So we're going to go to Russia, and we're going to send. We're going to start training up our soldiers first. So we're going to send over. We're going to send time jump. We're going to send sauntering walk. We're going to send Van Heinkast, and we're going to send the UMB cast. I just realised I should actually change their names. Their last name. So we'll call them. Jerry and the last name because last name is what shows up Valentine cast there we go that looks better and there see now it's squad rookie Valentine cast this one should be we'll call him Joe UMB cast that makes more sense that looks better in the I forgot the only see the last name so this would be Lindsay Sandra. Lindsay Ah, look at us learning things as we do this game. The Lindsay Sauntering Walk, and this is going to be... Patrick... Time Jumper. There we go, look at that. That's our squad. This is who's going into battle against the aliens. So the first battle we've done out of the tutorial with our named squad members. Hopefully we'll make it. And they should, they should all make it. They should. I just I didn't equip any of them with med packs, so hopefully nobody gets hurt too bad. Um, although it's possible that they could. Alright, let's launch this mission. I forgot how short the load times are. I kind of drifted off there for a moment. There's our ship landing. There's there's Sauntering Walk, Time Jumper, Valentine Cast, and you can be cast. Okay, so first off, got Lindsay there. We're going to move her next to... Uh, let's put the one to cover first. So there's Lindsay. We're going to put her into Overwatch. The Valentine Cast. Now we're going to put them up behind ideally we can get them into full cover there's full cover over there and then let's get the valentine cast into full cover over there all right so you see that we've already found some aliens let's get time jumper up there there's two sectoids the sectoids are the basic you know generic enemies of the game all right now we've got umb cast we also need to get into cover 
Doesn't look like there's any actual good cover left. We'll move him up there next. I don't think anyone has grenades, any of the aliens have grenades yet, so move him up there as well. There's a little bit more cover. That's meld. Meld is what you use to make... It's like psychic upgrades now, I believe. I know, I know it's definitely... This is the expansion pack, which I have very little experience with. I believe it allows you to make them into, like, cyber... Oh, God. All right. There's the first shots fired of this match. There's Sauntering Walk. I don't know if I want to move Sauntering Walk up without... All right. We've got a 45% chance to hit there. Are either of them in Overwatch? No. So if we move Valentine cast... Actually, no. I'm going to move Time Jumper up, because then he can... Oh! That's not good. So they are flanking us. That's really bad. Actually. Okay, yeah, see? He's 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 in outside cover. So we're going to move him to there. He can still shoot at those aliens, but... Move Lindsay up to there. Put her on Overwatch. Okay. So now, I really want to take out those guys in there. I'm going to tell UMB cast to shoot that one there is controlling that one, which means we should. If we can kill that one, we can kill that one as well. That was an awesome shot there, UMB cast. So UMB cast and, and um, Valentine cast are both podcasts, which uh, are Patreon members. Oh, I highly recommend checking them out. Maybe Valentine cast can hit that sectoid. They are, but only two damage. Okay. Better than nothing, it's a hit. We've dealt damage. The sectoids have dealt no damage to us. Right, so you see how it says recoverable? We have three turns to get our guys up there to take... Oh, here we go. Saunting Walk taking a shot on that guy. And missing spectacularly. Well done, Lindsay. So we've got that sectoid there. Now they're taking a shot back. Oh, Lindsay got nailed right in the face. Not good. I mean, she's going to be out the next battle. of wounds all right so yeah we've got three turns left to, to reclaim that meld or we lose it oh no <laughs> so in the first battle we have lost a member of the team um that's Lindsay. Lindsay's first and last um fight with xcom that's the guy who just killed killed Lindsay. Take him out. Good kill there. Um, time jumper. You avenge Lindsay. Good job. Alright, let's see if we can get I think getting you and B cast inside there. Oh, hello. Kick down that wall. We need to kill that guy. That guy's getting close to time jumper. And there we go, that's another kill. That's two we've got two for them. Two for one so far. And we don't know how many aliens are left, and we might lose that meld if we don't get more aggressive. Oh, so he's run off. Okay. We need Valentine cast in now. We want them to be a little bit closer up. Actually, no. Let's see if we can see where that, where that other alien went. Another sectoid. Don't necessarily like the idea of moving them around there, though. Well, there's little cover. That's not, not terrible, though. Let's get time... So, Time Jumper is going to level up. Next level. That's good. Now let's put UMB Cast onto Overwatch. Overwatch means that if anybody comes into the mission, into the range, they'll get shot at. And there goes that meld. We lost that meld because we, we weren't aggressive enough. We're going to move Valentine cast up there. My belief is that that sector would round that room there. Oh, yep, and there's two more in there. So we've got four sectoids left. Alright, so if we put Time Jumper onto Overwatch, and then we move UMB cast in, we're going to try and flank them. Oh, that guy there is definitely flankable. See? See how they're yellow? That means he's got a much higher chance of shooting them. We're playing with the... 
with the shooting angles um, enhancement on. Oh, hello. One time jumper. Good shot there. Well done. Okay, so we've got. Now, got UMB cast. 65% chance to hit him. I don't think he's on Overwatch, so here we go. And that's a kill. Well done. Uh, it's a bit depressing that we've already lost one member of the squad, but, you know, losses are expected when you're defending the human race. We go one last kill. 65% chance, corn Valentine cast. There we go. And that means that... Oh, no, there's one left. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Ah, oh, there's another sectoid. Luckily, the sectoids can't shoot very well. Let's get UMB cast up there. And he's gonna miss. That was point blank range. Well, well done there. Well done. Very, very well done. Good shooting. Right. One of the things I've learned in my time in this game is that it's not worth being greedy for a kill. Because then losing one eight. There we go. We got it. It's come operatives lost, but we recovered one one container melt. So that's good. All right, so that's going to be an episode. How are we going to shut the... Oh, we've got, actually, no. We've got some upgrades. Can, Valentine Cast is now an, a squaddy. As is Time Jumper and UMB Cast. Assault and one support. Cool. The Urban Assault Combat Badge and the Defender's Medal. Awesome. And we've got new facilities for me. And workshops. So now... What we do is we go to the memorial. This is what we're going to do at the end of every episode is we have lost Lindsay. Lindsay died to a plasma pistol in the first episode of this playthrough. And in our first, the first engagement, first true engagement between XCOM and alien forces. So, Lindsay, Sauntering Walk, we salute you. And hopefully you'll be back in future episodes as we recruit more soldiers. Alright boys and girls, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, check out my other videos like Indie Investigations and my playthrough of Rogue Squadron on this channel. Um, hit that subscribe button or follow me on Twitter at Atiagavos. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this little playthrough. There'll be more coming up as we continue. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.